Welcome back to Yoga Marts. I'm Matt, and today I'm going to show you how to apply handles to your mugs. All right, so I'm going to show you how I attach my handles. Here, I've got my mug, and first off, I'm just going to get my thumb wet and just run it along the edge here just to clean up all those little burrs, the edges from, uh, from when I cut it off of the wheel. Just get that nice and smooth. Doesn't take too long. And then, I'm gonna decide where I want to start. And one thing that's pretty convenient, the way I throw, you can see that little line. And that's from where I use a, uh, a leather chamois to smooth the rim. And that's where that line comes from. And so I'm gonna put my handle just below that line. This is a good, um, good visual cue, visual marker for me. Then I'm gonna use this scoring rib. It's just a metal rib with a bunch of teeth on it. It makes it much faster than using a separate tool and then, or your fingernail, like, no, I like this tool because I don't use extra slip. I create the slip on the mug while I score. I dip the rib in the water and then just below that line I said I score and the water drips off of the rib and as I'm scratching it it mixes up slip you can see right there and that's all that, that's plenty of slip I need for these for this type of mug this type of handle at least it's been working as long as I've been making them Sometimes you need to add just a little bit more water and we're good. And then I'm gonna take my handle and now this is the edge where I cut it off of the lump when I was pulling it. And then I just trimmed it. I just used a, a little knife, trim the handles so this is the length that I want for the handle. And then on this side, the fatter end, because it tapers slightly, on the fatter end, that's gonna be the top of the handle, towards the top of the mug. I'm gonna hold it like this, and using my knuckle, I'm just gonna kinda of pound it and open up the top. What this is doing, it's help, it's, um, it's flaring it out so that way when I attach it to the mug, it'll be much easier to smooth the clay and um, yeah, just smooth the clay together. So you can see there, that's kind of how it's uh, flaring out. And then even though I added slip to the mug, I'm just gonna dip my finger and wet the handle. Wipe off the excess on a sponge and then I'm gonna hold it like this. So that way the handle is supported with my fingers and then using my thumb and this part of my finger, that's where I'm gonna press it in. And because it's wet and I scored it, it'll stick, but make sure you counter pressure on the inside with the other hand. Cause you don't wanna dent uh, the mug. Just push in and you'll feel it. At first you'll feel it sliding around and then it'll grab. And when it bites like that, then you know you got a good um, connection. And then just, I just do a few more pushes and then just lightly smooth it out. I'll go back and fine tune that. So that's what we got right now. And then I'm gonna attach it to the bottom and then still supporting the handle so it doesn't fall off. Dip my finger in the water, wet the bottom, and then I'm gonna bend the handle. Take your time with this because if the handle gets too stiff, uh, you run the risk of cracking it or having different creases when you do that. So just bend it. And same thing, you'll feel it 
slide around and then you'll feel it bite and just give it a couple more pushes and then make sure that the handle is straight it's not crooked at an angle you want to make sure it lines up nicely that way and check the profile and then all that's left is to smooth it out where it connects and I just wet my finger and I just smooth the clay from the handle into the side of the mug and this just this makes sure you have a real strong connection it'll make it'll really reduce the amount of cracks you get in your handles if you smooth it out this way and I think it's just fun. But do that. And then I wet my finger again. And even this may seem like a lot of water, but that's okay. You want a lot of water at this point because now I'm just smoothing out all the little marks that my fingers made while attaching it. So I'm just smoothing it out, making it nice and pretty. Get that. Always go back and double check that it's the shape you want. So for me that means lifting it up a little bit, just adjusting it, pinching it, moving it. And then for the bottom part, because my finger can't really get in there very well, I just use this wooden tool, dip it in water, get it a little damp, and then just as if I were using my finger, I smooth it into the side of the mug, pulling f down from the handle, smoothing it into the mug. I don't want to go the other way, otherwise you run the risk of popping the handle off of the mug. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the inside, and all the way around. And really just take your time on this part. because it's better to work a little slow if that means your pottery is gonna be that much better. So take your time, make it as good as you can. And then I just wet my finger and just to smooth out some of the marks that the tool left. And then one final check Make sure the handle is the shape I want. Well, I'm saying that looks pretty good. Now it's left, I'm going to add my stamp. I want my fingers on the inside of the pot, counter pressure. And I get my stamp with my little logo. And stamp that in. That's a completed mug.
So that's how I go about attaching handles to mugs. I uh, hope you learned something. If you'd like to see more of my work, uh, visit my website, yokomarts.com. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, at yokomarts. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to like the video and subscribe for more.